Uh, there is no production value. There's uh, just production. I promise I won't hit you. Guys, I'm back here in Montana and I'm working for my customer, Bob. I'm putting together some of these cages for him to hang his forms in just like I did last time. But this time, I'm gonna show you a little personal project that he asked me to do and I'm gonna do it with a twist. I'm gonna take what he asked me to do to the next level. He wasn't really expecting me to do this today, but I really like Bob and I wanna take care of it for him. And uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna try to make this really special to him. So let me show you what I'm talking about. Subscribe! So Bob's had this old galvanized thing kicking around for a while and he's envisioned it as a flower pot. So I'm gonna start off by pulling some measurements. We got about 27 and three quarter this way. Let's see. Yeah, 24 and a half. So we're gonna cut our four pieces of metal and then we're gonna do our torch work. So we're using a bunch of old drop that Bob has. So I'm gonna have to clean it up and have to cut off some of the shit that's welded to it and get it all prepared, ready to weld. That's right, I used to cut off wheel like a grinding disc. What are you gonna do about it? My scallop pattern, instead of trying to get scientific with it, I'm gonna keep it simple. Why not just trace the scallops that are on the damn bin, right? I'm gonna have to get a little creative. I don't know if I should put them on the top or if I should put them on the sides. I'll figure that out. Because this thing's kind of being a pain in the ass, it's wobbling back and forth on me. I'm gonna go ahead and weld a couple of pieces of angle iron down the bottom of it. So that way it sits still. I already had these, he had these pieces laying around. They're both the same length. I'm not gonna get scientific and cut things to length and whatnot. All I'm gonna do is wedge them underneath here, get a level out, find level, weld them on. You think the level's long enough? I don't think so. I think we might need a longer one. But we're just gonna have to get this as close as possible to level. Right here it looks pretty level, but then when you move the level down, it's a little out of whack. And that's because this box is out of whack, so we're just gonna do the best we can. It's level enough for me. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and weld this in every rib. It's not some structural weld. We're just gonna throw some tacks on there. I might flip it over and do it on the opposite side too. I've got my respirator on because this is galvanized and I don't want to breathe that shit in. There we go. Got it all set up. We're ready to start scalloping this thing. So I got my torch set up. I'm at four and 35. And I'm kind of guesstimating because I don't really know the exact perfect setting for quarter inch steel. We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna start cutting. definitely no fucking IC weld, but this is going to do just fine. I'm going to go ahead and I'll clean it up with a grinder just in case. 
try to clean it up, make it a little nicer. And uh, we'll use this as one of the sides. I still need to cut um, everybody's name into each side. So I'm gonna start with Bob's first because his name's the easiest. It's gonna be too high. I gotta be careful where I position this because I don't want to be blowing into the flange and that's, that's gonna create a problem for me. But I also want the letters to be big enough so that they're legible. Again, remember this is an art project. This isn't some fucking thing I'm gonna be super specific on or try to get scientific with. You know, I'm gonna keep it fun, keep it light, and hopefully Bob likes it. It looks pretty good. It's not perfect, but again, this is an art project. It's not the fucking spaceship. Scout the second one out. I'm not gonna show you Bob's wife and kids' names. Sorry, I'm gonna protect my guy's privacy. So I'll catch back up with you guys when I go ahead and weld this on the top of the planner. All right, so there is something I forgot to do that I have to do with the torch before I can move on to doing my final prep and then finally welding this together. I have to 45 them, all right? I mean, I'm not gonna be so janky as to overlap them. Got to 45 them, so I got my speed square out, I marked everything out, now I'm gonna blow it off with the torch. Huh? Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't, I don't. So I got the torch in my hand. Oh, yeah. yeah, you could always turn that shit down. No, that's all good. I wasn't even thinking about it, perfectly honest with you. I was just yelling over it. I was smirking outside when you heard it. You left my fucking production value. Dude, I have, there is no production value. <laughs> There's just production. As I cleaned up the rest of the uh, angle irons, now I'm gonna go ahead and clean this one up. And uh, what I've been doing is using a grinder to knock off the big stuff, and then a die grinder to get down into the letters because I am a shitty torch cutter, apparently. Uh, no, I just, uh, honestly, I couldn't, I couldn't dial that torch in. The, the gauges that uh, Bob has are just a little out of whack, so it was, it was giving me a little trouble. But that's okay. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna grind this off and uh, pretty it up and hopefully start welding soon. I'm pretty happy with that. It's not perfect, but neither is that can I'm welding it to, is it? So we're gonna go ahead, assemble our uh, sides for this thing, weld it up, and then hopefully uh, Bob is happy. This thing's out of square, clearly. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start by attacking the two sides on, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull them straight with the other two sides.
favor? Sure. Yeah. Can you, uh, we don't have a big enough plan. Yeah, I'll hold it. Yep. Can you just tell me when you're happy with it? I'm gonna have to push. I'm gonna, I'm gonna attack this side first. Attack it? Gotcha. Attack it one more time. Now, where the corner's kind of cross, put your knee on each corner, you alright? Mm -hmm. And then like, kind of pull it towards you. Not, no, both sides. Like grab here and grab there. And pull okay. it towards you, yeah. One, two. Oh, that's perfect. Hold it. One more second. Hold on, one more second. You good. Grab right here again, like you were. I promise I won't hit it. Trust me. I'm a very trusting individual. Now, now next, I want you to fall into my hand. I'm just kidding. Hold on. Oh, let the last so the corners line up. Push it towards that way a little. Yeah. Perfect. Oh, oh, less, two, less, less. Right there. Beautiful. Now this or that Remember how you grab the other corner? Yep, right there. It's just this whole fucking game. Yeah. What the fuck are you doing? Oh shit, this is need a ground one. That would help. Kick, 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 kick. Do nothing you just see here. Not really well, too. <laughs> right, even like that. All right. All the stuff is welded out. That looks perfect. That looks good, bro. Hope he likes it. That looks. You, you mind if I take a picture, uh, like no. with you in it? No, I'm gonna send it to my mom. My mom loves this kind of shit. If you don't mind. Yeah. Yeah, they're gonna fucking love the shit out of that. Bro. Huh? They're going to love this shit out of that, dude. Cool. I hope they do. All right, guys. Here's the finished product. Came out pretty good. And this is going to make an excellent flower pot for Bob. Hopefully, he's happy with it.